Writing Learning Objectives. This is Lisa Knight, your instructor. This video will discuss what a learning objective is, how to write measurable learning objectives, and we'll demonstrate an online objective builder tool that will assist you in writing learning objectives. What is a learning objective? A learning objective answers the question, what is it that your students should be able to do at the end of the class or course that they could not do before? A learning objective makes clear the intended learning outcome rather than what form the instruction will take. A learning objective focuses on student performance and it utilizes action verbs and it should state the behavior students will be expected to perform. Well-written learning objectives can give students precise statements of what is expected of them and provide guidelines for assessing student progress. Our goal for students is learning and if students don't know what they should be able to do at the end of class, then it will be difficult for them to reach that goal. There are three types of learning objectives. Number one, cognitive objectives. Emphasize knowing, conceptualizing, comprehending, applying, synthesizing, and evaluating. These objectives deal with students' knowledge of the subject matter and how students demonstrate this knowledge. Number two, psychomotor objectives involve physical skills and dexterity related to the instruction. Successful instruction involves teaching new skills or coordination of old ones. For example, physical coordination involved in playing tennis or a musical instrument. And finally, number three, attitudinal objectives are specific statements about attitudes, values, and emotions that students will have as a result of taking part in class activities. The first step to writing a learning objective is identifying who your audience is. For example, your audience may be geology students, training associates, math students, or a management team. It is more important to understand what background knowledge they bring to the course what learning style preferences they may have, and what resources are available or not available to them. Developing a clear understanding of who your learners are will help you identify appropriate learning outcomes for your course. So what is a learning objective? How do you go about ensuring that it is a clear objective? Learning objectives emphasize observed activity. The only way you can determine whether or not a student has learned something is to observe some kind of behavior that indicates learning has taken place. This behavior may range from correctly answering multiple choice questions to requiring that the student actually demonstrate a skill. Learning objectives emphasize student activity. Instructors sometimes state objectives in terms of their activities. However, learning objectives focus exclusively on student behaviors and not on the behaviors of the instructor. Imagine that you're teaching a class and your learning objective is that the student will understand the process of inductive and deductive reasoning. This is focusing on understanding the material that's being taught, but it's not specifically telling the student what they're going to do to learn that. A better objective would be the student will listen to several letters and read from the editorial page of a newspaper or magazine. He, she will participate in a discussion about the type of logic employed, 
the effectiveness of the evidence, and the validity of the argument. In this example, specific activities are listed that the student will have to complete in order to learn about inductive and deductive reasoning. Finally, learning objectives emphasize student outcomes. Instructors often state objectives in terms of process or procedure, while learning objectives refer to the end results of instruction. A good learning objective states what a student will know or be able to do with the instruction. For example, consider this learning objective. The student will understand the fundamentals of respiration. The fundamentals of respiration is a general process. This objective does not specify what parts of the process the student will understand after completing instruction. Consider this modified example. Given a list of chemical compounds, the student will select one that is found in each step of the process of respiration and one that is found in each step of the process of photosynthesis. This objective emphasizes exactly what the student will be doing with the information given to them. So now that we understand the basic requirements of a good learning objective, how do we write clear and measurable learning objectives? A good learning objective has four parts. It describes a condition of learning. It identifies the audience. It describes a measurable behavior using Bloom's taxonomy and defines the degree to which learning, the learning outcome will be met. Consider this objective. Given the video, Super Volcano to Watch, geology students will describe three criteria used to classify super volcanoes in 300 words or less. In this example, the condition of learning is given the video super volcano to watch. The audience includes geology students. The measurable behavior is to describe three criteria used to classify super volcanoes and the degree is to do so in 300 words or less. Bloom's taxonomy is a hierarchy of six cognitive skills arranged from less to more complex. The lowest order thinking skills are grouped under knowledge, activities related to remembering information. The thinking skills increase in complexity as you move up the taxonomy through comprehension, application, analysis, synthesis, and evaluation. When you are choosing specific cognitive skills you want your students to demonstrate, you should use the associated verbs related to that cognitive skill that allow students to demonstrate that specific behavior. For example, a math instructor may give students a graph of function and ask them to predict the shape of a graph of the derivative of that function in order to demonstrate that they comprehend what a derivative is. Writing learning objectives can be overwhelming, especially to instructors that have never had any educational training. There is help available online via several free objective building applets on the web. Watch the video following this to see how to use the objective builder tool created by the University of Central Florida.